electrical safety practices do not cease when the scene safety assessment is complete. Fire investigators must be vigilant for electrical hazards throughout the full scene examination. Do not take it for granted that nothing is energized just because the power has been cut by the authorized utility. There can be secondary sources of power in a building, such as emergency power generators, battery storage systems, and supplemental wind power or solar power systems. Consider every wire to be energized even when the meter has been removed or disconnected. Always visually examine the electrical system. Check power sources with a non-contact voltage tester every time. Typically, the tip of the non-contact voltage tester is touched to the outlet, switch, or cord. If voltage is present in the line, the tip will light up and or beep. If voltage is not present, the non-contact tester will not respond. If voltage is not present, you may proceed with your examination. If voltage is present, you would return to the panel box to further investigate why power is present. Consult the directions for your specific non-contact voltage tester model to determine how to operate it. Also, ensure that you are using a non-contact voltage tester that is capable of detecting the voltage carried in that line. Most testers can detect voltage only within a certain range. In addition, avoid operating any electrical switch or non-explosion proof equipment. Operating this equipment might cause an explosion if flammable gas or vapors are present. Ventilate any potentially explosive atmospheres as they are encountered. Do not dig or excavate the scene before ascertaining the location of underground utilities.